Hi all, welcome to the European Marquee Matchups No Risk Trade Methods with a lot of the leagues featured also in the normal marquee matchups but also a lot of the leagues being featured are potentially handy as well just in general so if you can smash the links would be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jesus Legend all the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links so we've got links like Ukraine, Germany, um, Greece and obviously Holland as well so plenty of leagues as usual so Premier League Usual um, process as usual, so EPL, plenty to go with. Um, obviously, you've got the Champions League with like Leicester and Man City. Then, for your Europa League options, you've got like Spurs and Manchester United. So, in all honesty, there's plenty to kind of consider. And you can also kind of look at the upgrades as well, any of them might be kind of handy. Then like the rare upgrades or maybe look at see if you can nab them for 600 obviously like with the French league it's pretty much self explanatory most of the usual players you can nab if you can even nab any of the guys any of the teams that are actually featured like um, Cornet for Leon, you're doing well like Serie A is hard enough um, trying to nab any of the players for like 300 but some of them you can nab have them um, like Croce, I've managed to nab quite a few times, Radanovic, they're there to be nabbed and it takes a bit of doing, like Gagliardini, as you can see there, I had he was on a 150 and I bid 300, if I can nab him will be kind of handy, and there's obviously some like, I think Kurtic is a new transfer, so that's kind of handy with him, obviously with the Bundesliga you've got plenty of food for thought, you've got Denati, Kain, Santos, you can look around and remember as well, some of these players that I'm bidding for are obviously kind of handy for the normal marquee matchups but obviously we're trying to cover for both sets if they were to go that way because I don't know if they will go um, that way in all honesty. Um, well League of Santander really hard to nab any for 300, it's more the rares that I'm kind of spawning with the league that are kind of handy. Greek League you've got quite a few to work with, you've got Capino, Ant, Fasinidis, Elianusi, Zeke and most of these players I can nab for 300, the one player I actually struggle to nab is Botia, he is very very hard to nab, it's like people seem to get him at free, it's like 350 is what you have to get him at, it's a bit annoying, um, with the Liga Nos, um, Alex left mid is one player really worth nabbing, um, because he's like the highest rated player in that team but also he's just kind of a useful winger but a lot of these players like Espino, like Bolly, you'll never nab but like Chervy, Zivkovic, um, Dajvan, if you nab any of them for 300 you're laughing and most of them I will nab, it's like any of the duplicates I will sell on like later on in the week if they do crop up and then you've got the Ukrainian league, you've got like Azevedo, Ferreira and like, I regularly go to this league and I can nab most of them for 300 which is kind of handy. Um, the only one that you can really struggle to nab actually in all honesty is Azevedo because he is a very popular left back in all honesty but he was back in the day and still is now. What you find this useful as always remember to smash the like, sub to the channel for new, follow me on Twitter at Gs Legend, take it easy all, thanks for watching and I will catch you all later.